The Skype for Business integration with cloud service management allows analysts to start chat conversations from the ticket screen itself. This facilitates the analysts to work through their tickets faster and also allows them to save the chat conversations directly into the ticket. The Skype for Business is an out-of-the-box integration with cloud service management. This is integrating specifically with Skype for Business Online, which is part of Office 365. To do this integration, there is a configuration required on the Office 365 site through the Azure portal. The Office 365 administrator needs to register the Cloud Service Management app and then give access and authorization to it to allow communication over Skype for Business. Similarly, the Cloud Service Management Administrator will need to enable the Skype integration on the CSM side. Now let's take a look at the Office 365 configurations through the Azure portal. The Office 365 Administrator needs to log into the Azure portal and go to More Services, search and select the App Registrations. Then click New Application Registration. Specify the name of application to identify that integration is with CSM. Set application type to web app slash API. Under sign on URL, mention your production CSM URL with which you are configuring this integration. You could use the staging URL if you are testing. Use the production CSM URL even when you have single sign on configured for your CSM instance. Select the Create button. In a few seconds, you should see the new app integration you just created. Next, go to the Reply URLs tab. Here, specify the CSM URL to which Microsoft Azure will send a response after the authentication is complete. Please enter the URL in the format shown to ensure this works correctly. Next, go to the Manifest tab to edit it. This will register CSM with Azure Active Directory. In order for the Skype web application to access Skype for business server resources, such as messaging or presence, it needs to obtain an access token using implicit grant flow. This token gives CSM the permission to access the resource. Set the variable auth to allow implicit flow to true and then save the changes. Now to set the permissions, go to all settings, required permissions tab. Select the Add button on the top. Under Select an API, choose Skype for Business Online and click on Select. Set the permissions to allow CSM to send and receive instant messages. Next, select permissions to allow CSM to send and receive audio and video. And then allow the app to create an on-demand Skype meeting. Application permissions are those that CSM needs to access the web API directly as itself. Delegated permissions are those that CSM needs to access the web API as the signed-in user. Select all the options under delegated permissions. For additional information on the permissions, Refer to the CSM product documentation. Finally, select the Grant Permissions button to grant access and authorization to the CSM app. This needs to be done by the Office 365 Administrator. 
The configurations in the Azure portal are now complete. Copy the application ID from Azure. This is the unique identifier for the CSM application. The final step is to enable the integration of Skype for Business with Cloud Service Management. After logging in, the CSM administrator needs to navigate to Manage, Tools, Integrations. Here select Skype for Business. Paste the application ID token you copied from the Azure portal and click on Save. Select to make the integration active. Log out and log in back to CSM for the changes to take effect. This completes all the steps required to configure the integration of CSM with Skype for Business Online. Once this integration is enabled, go to the Ticket Center and open a ticket. You can see the Skype for Business sign-in prompt on the right panel on the ticket. When a user clicks on sign-in, CSM redirects the user to the Azure Active Directory authorization endpoint. Azure Active Directory validates the request and responds with a sign-in page, where the user signs in. Once the user signs in successfully, Azure Active Directory redirects back to CSM with the access token and from that point onwards, the user is able to use Skype from within CSM. To know how analysts can use Skype for business to chat with their end users from within a ticket, please watch our video on using CSM Skype for business integration by analysts.